and the Kenny Crafter and we are back working on our Junky Junk Journal. So, it's got a little bit disheveled because I'm not working on it quick enough. We need to pick up the pace. Oh, I've just realised we need to make something to tuck in there as well. But we shall continue on. And we are on our punched, I think it was like a divider page thing. What do you call it? I don't know. Anyway, I found this ribbon. It's like a organza type ribbon. I think it came like wrapped around some smellies or something in a present. And I couldn't throw it away because I am a hoarder. Anyway, I thought we could sort of weave this through here. Now, I'm thinking how to fix it in at the ends and I'm just just buying my stapler here so that must be there for a reason that must be saying we're going to staple it down so I think I'll start at the bottom and I'm just going to sort of twist it into a little point and I'm going to come through the back and then through I've never done this before because I don't know if it's going to work or not I don't know if it's going to be long enough. I think it's going to be long enough. And final hole. Just check on the back because that's just as important. Oh, now I like that. I like that. Now, if I just pull it down like that. Oh, what I was thinking. How cool is that? And then obviously on the other side too. Cut this off here. I think it's going to be in slightly, but I think I'll. So we'll keep it in place. Okay, so now I want to disguise these, what's it called? <laughs> Staples. And also put something else on the page. <sighs> this is just, this is the book we've been working from. Um, work if we go along here. Put it the wrong way. Is it a mushroom or is it a flower? I'm going to put up this. And then... Oh dear. Cut that off a bit there because it's a bit long and stick that down there like that. And I actually filled up my little do bottle this morning. it over the table might be helpful <laughs> seems as that's what we're trying to go back up get off the excess glue there's one bit covered and I want this quote. Oh, but then this is the way I struggle because oh, look how gorgeous he is. No, <laughs> we'll go back with the book. 
because I cannot cut that up. Right, this one has been well and truly cut into. So let us see what we have. Oh, what about this? I just saw the most spectacular garden she could ever imagine. Sorry, I'm trying to make it straight, so I'm going to write up first. Okay, we don't need that bit. I'm going to cut it there. So I'm going to put that through up there and then that up there. And that will cover. The hope is a ways and means. So I hope everybody is having a good day today. I oh, am, yeah, because I am in my craft room. I love to be in my craft room. I'm lucky enough to have a whole craft room. I know some people just sort of make do with little spaces in their house. Right now, I don't mind that that is like that. Because it's been like that an ugly stable. <laughs> okay, so on the other side, I'm not really bothered about the staples on the other side because they're sort of hidden by the ribbon. I think I'm just going to do some I think those flowery things I got that from and I've used it elsewhere okay so this way yeah how quick and easy was that and how posh and fancy does it look oh now the ink has bled through on that side and I don't mind <laughs> I don't mind that at all did it be doing any of the other pages book page which I imagined it was. Hmm. Oh well. Okay we are on to our little see-through gift bag and it already has a little kitty cat sticker on it and you know what I was thinking? How cool would he be in the like a big card to write on. So, Jesus. I'm just gonna have to use him. All right, I'm gonna fussy cut him out. Now remember fussy cutting is just cutting to the lines. I think he's gonna have to lose his whiskers though, unfortunately. Right now, I know not all of him is gonna fit in that oh that's pretty in that little book and I know but I am just gonna put them all out because I'd rather have them too big and too small I don't know about putting them in there now, you know. Maybe it just needs to go on a page. <gasps> like that page. I 
on that page. I like them on the green. And then you get a little bit of writing space. But I don't think, you know, there's going to be lots of other places for writing. I'm going to do it. I'm going to stick them on there instead of in that because he's just too magnificent. Come on, glue. series you could just frame and put on the wall it's how beautiful these graphics are okay so we jumped ahead a couple of pages because I got distracted by the catch I'll cut off his excess tail. Make sure he's stuck down. Oh, isn't he gorgeous? Look at him. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> back to what we're supposed to be working on. I'm thinking, I wish this was more. It's been folded, but a bit catty wombus. I'm going to put this down here, sort of where it's already been put. And across here, that's not very straight. writing on so I want this side decorated with something and I'm thinking oh that was satisfying I'm just gonna loop it up get rid of the white board isn't it the edges. You want a more organic -y feel. Okay, push all of my rubbish to one side. Which is absolutely cringing. But I'm tearing this book apart on the other loop. <laughs> but you know, once you've read Alice in Wonderland, and I have multiple copies of it because I want to do a lot of Alice in Wonderland journals. This is my first one, and this wasn't even going to be an Alice in Wonderland journal. But I couldn't help myself at time of us. I keep saying that because I normally keep forgetting to check and then the battery runs out and you miss out of what I'm doing. <laughs> so apologies if that's getting annoying. Good to keep the ears out.
Mm. He doesn't actually fit. Goodness. I wonder if we could just put a bit of the book. I think the text of the book should I say. So then you only want to get home some controls. I'm not sure I'm kind of the impression there. We've got a little Alice here. It's just the chill face. Right, Leah, I would have put some of the other bits from there. Right there, see? Perfect size. And I'm going to cut out this little rose bush here. The roses are a good part of the story. Part I remember of the story. How do we think of that? How do we think of that? What do we think of that? Use proper English. Okay. It's all looking a little bit messy. I nearly dropped my scissors on the floor. And then a little rose push. I'm going to put it right down at the bottom there. There's like the little, like the little Cheshire cat there. So let us have a little flipper to flu. So I think I'm going to come back and put something else on the cover. But I don't know what yet. Then we have our tag with the caterpillar on it in our little pocket. This page here, which is like the first page. We've got a pocket up here, which I might put something in. And I took a spot there, which I think I'm definitely going to put something in. I might leave that pocket empty. Journaling space. Little journaling space here. Journaling space. Apologies for the dog barking. She gets excited when she's outside. And we have a tuck spot here and a pocket that opens up with our little white rabbit. No space to write on the back. Well to keep my back for putting stuff in with our small Alice on it. Our photo card envelope that we had to sort of deconstruct and reconstruct. And you can pull that out and write on the back that. German space. Little Alice in the little. Oh! Our tag. This would all be easier if it was <laughs> bound. And we will get to that. But I prefer to work on the pages and then bind it. More journal and space, more journal and space. Our lovely ribbon. I really do like that. But doodling. The tag we just... Well, it's more of a journaling card that we've just made. This was another little plastic baggie. 
and then we'll jump to head because I got distracted by a gorgeous Cheshire cat. <laughs> oh, see, I jumped ahead on that one as well. So, we're getting me. We are getting me. I think we're going to leave it here for now because it's getting on a bit for me. And I have oh, a million more things to do, but you don't need to be bored by that. Um, so, yes, I'm happy with how this is coming along. I may do another video and stick it on the end of this later. Um, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> we have to do some fancy dancey editing. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm the Kenny Crafter and I'll see you next time. Bye!